Birch family, as you know, it is that time of the month where the month is ending. It's very depressing because these months are going by way too fast. Also very exciting because it's about to be Christmas. If you didn't already know, Alexandra and I are going to participate in Vlogmas this year. For those of you that have no idea what that is, it's where you post a video every single day from December 1st to the 25th, which is crazy. So starting tomorrow, I'll be seeing you guys every freaking day until Christmas. Every single day. That's a lot of days. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video and talk about some of the things I've been pretty obsessed with for the past month. The first thing is absolutely no surprise. I made an entire Bath and Body Works video because of this candle. No! <laughs> I would have legitimately cried if I broke this candle. This is the winter candle from Bath & Body Works. It is the candle that I actually have burning back here and my entire room smells so wintry and comfortable and I love this candle. I will be burning this candle all throughout the holiday. I will have the link to this video down below or up in the cards. I also talk about my other favorite holiday candles in that video, so if you want to check it out, go check it out. If you are a True Birch family member, you know that we freaking love Pokemon around here, okay? And if you're a true Pokemon fan, then you know what this little thing is. So in the month of November, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee did release, and you better bet your body Autumn, that Alexandra and I were one of the first people to play this game. We have been playing that game non-freaking-stop. I'm not lying to you when I say that my friends have called me to go out and do like social things and I legitimately have told them, hey, I can't go out. I'm playing my Pokemon game. It's very serious. We can go in a couple weekends once I beat the game. Okay, bye. Alexandra! Hey Suri, text Alexandra Birch and say, come here. Your message to Alexandra Birch says, come here. Ready to send it? Yes. What do you think about Let's Go Pikachu? I think it's great. We're really going to play it today. Yeah. We'll probably play it after this video. <laughs> and I was kind of nervous about the game because I know they were making some big changes in it and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I'm like an OG Pokemon game player. But I actually really enjoy the game. We got the Pokeball to control the game with and it is so much fun. I want to talk about this little guy for a second. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Creme fungantang. Don't know how to say it. This thing. That's what it is. I got this sample from Sephora when I bought these other things we're about to talk about. I used to use this night cream a long time ago uh, and I kind of quit using it and started playing around with other things. And I remember that I used to love it, so I thought I would try it out again. I don't understand why I stopped using this. I need to let you guys know this thing is so expensive. It's so expensive. Honestly, dreading running out of this sample because I know that I'm gonna have to buy it because I'm so obsessed with it that I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out. Since I've been getting skin treatments on my face, my face has gone from more oily to more on the dry combo side. So I always have this like tight feeling in my face of it being dry, which I've never experienced. So I've had to kind of get rid of some products and introduce new products into all the crap that I have back here for dry skin. And it's really been a challenge for me. I always hear people talk about how much they love that cream and they have dry skin. So that's why I also wanted to try it out again. And it is so freaking good. And it makes my face feel so hydrated and plump, but it also also isn't so thick that it feels like it clogs my pores. I don't really know how to explain it other than it soaks into my skin. It makes my skin feel very, very soft. I can honestly say that since I've been using this for the past three weeks, I have seen such a difference in hydration in my skin. I hate that I love it but I do love it. This is a, another lotion-y type product that I want to talk about. This is the Almond Hand Cream by KL Polish. What is that? Does it smell good? It smells great. What is it? I know. It smells really good. It has a very sweet almond smell, which I really like. My hands feel so hydrated and soft after using it, and it doesn't leave that like greasy, gross stuff on your hands afterwards. Blah. I do want to talk about this Morphe lipstick that I do have on my lips today. This is in the color Virgin. 
I freaking love this lipstick. It's more of a cream liquid lipstick. It does dry down matte. Mine's not all that matte because I do have a chapstick underneath it that's keeping it a little bit more of like a satin finish, which I usually do with all my liquid lipsticks. I have two products here that are very expensive and I hate myself that I'm mentioning them in this video, but I truly am obsessed with them. I have been doing my makeup with these two products for months just to make sure that it is worth the money and I am regretful to say that they are worth the money. So don't leave me comments saying, Victoria, I can't believe you bought that. It's so expensive. Because I know. <sighs> so I bought the Tatcha Luminous Silk canvas something something primer. Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. It will take you forever in a day to go through this entire thing. I've been using this for such a long time and I've barely even put a dent in it. It comes with this little coin looking thing to scrape the product out with to make it more hygienic, but I don't really do that. You can see up here where I've been like sticking my finger into it. The way this makes my makeup apply on my skin is absolutely flawless. I don't have anything like it. I can honestly say it is worth the money. So if you've been wondering whether or not this is good, it's good. Unfortunately, it's very good. <sighs> The last really expensive product I'm going to talk about is this. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is another one of those products that I've been trying to find good things that work with dry skin that it's just undeniably fabulous. And since my face has started to become dry, the powders that I have work really, really good with oily skin. And they work okay with dry skin, but throughout the day I can definitely see my dry patches like coming through. Everyone and their mother that has dry skin has been recommending this product to me. They said, I won't regret it. It's the best thing in the world. It's absolutely worth the money. And I'm just here to reiterate all of those things. It really is. It doesn't cling on to any of my dry patches. When I set my under eye concealer, it just looks flawless and beautiful. I definitely think if you have dry skin and you've been looking for that perfect setting powder, this is something you should check out. Once you get these two products, don't expect to go back. Like, these are in your life to stay. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.